गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल अगेन माई सेल्फ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर कुशल कुमार एन कुरानी फ्रॉम चांगू खाना आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल सो वी सॉ इन दी प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टार्टेड विथ वन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक्स दैट इज कस्टमर सर्विस एंड वी सॉ द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ कस्टमर सर्विस नाउ वी विल गो ऑन दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ कस्टमर सर्विस दैट इज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कस्टमर सर्विस नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ अस हैव एन आइडिया दैट कस्टमर सर्विस इज ऑलवेज आफ्टर द प्रोडक्ट इज सोल्ड बेसिकली इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट कस्टमर सर्विस इज डिवाइडेड इन थ्री पार्ट्स वन इज प्री ट्रांजेक्शन देन ड्यूरिंग ट्रांजेक्शन एंड पोस्ट ट्रांजेक्शन नाउ द फर्स्ट टू पार्ट्स मेनी कस्टमर्स आर नॉट अवेयर बिफोर यू बाय द प्रोडक्ट कस्टमर सर्विस इज प्रोवाइडेड टू यू वेन यू आर बाइंग द प्रोडक्ट अगेन कस्टमर सर्विस इज प्रोवाइडेड टू यू एंड फाइनली वेन द प्रोडक्ट इज सोल्ड दैट इज वी नो दैट कस्टमर सर्विस हैज टू बी प्रोवाइडेड नाउ बिफोर बाइंग द प्रोडक्ट देर आर सर्टन पॉलिसीज which the company is uh, has framed and the customers should be given or should be made aware of the policies now here the employees who are serving the customer they should know the policy for example mcdonalds they had a policy that if the product is not given in 1 minute that is 60 seconds then it will be free for the customer so these things should be informed to the employees who are working in the organization so that they can focus more on their work and because of that the product can be delivered on time or before time to the customer so all these things has to be communicated to the employees first and then later on to the customer because many customers also are not available so if you go to these stores sometimes it is uh, written there if for example again you can take dominos there was a scheme of dominos that if the pizza is not delivered in 30 minutes then it will be free now the second part is during transaction now during transaction when you actually go to buy the product go to a store go to a mall anywhere there the customer uh, attendant or the salesman is attending the customer so they will try to give you options they will try to help you out to find out the product which you are looking for now here the most important thing is if the product is not available the salesman or the company should always give options to the customer or alternative products to the customer so that they should focus more on how they can sell it to the customer rather than saying that the product is not available now you can come at a later date or we will inform you if a customer is walking in a store you should try to convert the customer you should try to sell the product to the customer if not the product which customer is looking for but any alternative product or maybe if a customer is looking for a specific brand if that brand is not available you can help the customer to find a better brand or maybe if the customer is not ready to pay uh, x y z amount you may try to find out some better option at a lower price some new product for the customer so here again it is very important to handle the customer because customer is very sensitive when they are coming and buying the product because ultimately it is customer who is paying money so whatever money they are paying they are expecting that much value or returns for the product which they are buying from the store so during transaction so next time when you go to a store you can explore all the products there is no compulsion that as a customer you have to buy but the company has to provide customer service to the customer irrespective of whether the customer is buying the product or not buying the company has to show each and every product to the customer finally post transaction once the product is sold in the market what company will give to the customer after sales service there is warranty there is guarantee all these things will come once the product is sold for example in electronics if you are buying an ac you know for next one year the servicing will be free after sales service so the company should make these things very clear that next 12 months the servicing will be free if anything happens the company will give you servicing after 12 months charges will be applicable same you can use for automobile industry once the car is sold 
for uh, next uh, you know two or three servicing will be free from the company and then after that the uh, charges will be applicable as per the market rates other than this there is also one more thing known as product loaning now when a customer for example when a customer is buying a mobile phone new mobile phone and if there is any technical problem in the phone the customer will go and meet the customer service and the customer service may ask to deposit the phone for few days so that they can try to fix the problem in the phone now here the company has to provide some alternate to the customer because for 10 days or 15 days customer cannot stay without a mobile phone so here comes the concept of product loaning the company has to give an alternate mobile phone to the customer so that the customer can use it for next 10 to 15 days till the mobile phone is fixed the original mobile phone is fixed and it is returned to the customer so these three things play very important role for any organization so customer next time be aware that there is pre transaction during transaction and post transaction we all are going through post transaction but we don't know pre and during transaction so next time whenever you go to buy a product you make sure that the service is provided by the company to you guys and you can ask any any questions related to the product to the company maybe about the quality about the price about uh, the quantity or maybe the raw material which is used each and everything can be asked by the customer to the company during transaction again i repeat if you go to a mall you want to try some clothes you can try any number of clothes no questions will be asked there is no compulsion again that you have to buy the product because here again the company is providing customer service they have to give you all the options of different variety of brands of clothes so that you can try it if you are not satisfied you may not buy it then we again we know post transaction it happens in almost all the cases nowadays we also buy online clothes online electronics we buy many things online now here also after sale service is provided if you are not happy you can complain and the product will be either replaced or entire money will be returned or refunded to the customer so these three things are there for the customer service so pre transaction during transaction and post transaction this is elements of customer service now we will go on the okay now the next part we will continue in the next lecture thank you guys